Good evening. What I have here today is a Sterling engine that I just got in the mail. Now a Sterling engine uh, is a very old design. They go back over a hundred years and there's many shapes, sizes, and forms of these. Now it operates on the principle, this is actually how it's supposed to be done because this is a solar one. It operates on the principle of uh, expansion of a gas and in this case the gas is probably just standard air sealed in this chamber here with o-rings now this is a solar one so that in theory if we were to put this out in direct sunlight the sun would heat the air on this side of the piston pushing it down and then the air on this side being cooler would push it up and then it just continuously moves like that as long as there's a heat source applied now I had it in this orientation because for my demonstration I'm actually going to put this on top of a cup of boiling water. So let me go get the water and we'll see how this thing operates. Okay so I've got my cup of boiling water. I don't know how boiling it is it, actually it's pretty darn hot. And I'm going to set this right on top here. Now I'm going to give this a little bit of time to heat heat up and begin heating the air in here. Now you may be wondering why I've got these spokes painted. I used a black permanent marker on them because I was hoping I'd be able to actually get some RPM readings. But my testing with the RPM with my tack really was inconclusive. It wasn't really showing me anything there. So, and I think it may be just that this thing doesn't uh, rotate fast enough for, I think it says it's only up to maybe 70 RPM. But I did have my Turnigy tack set to five spokes, but it didn't work. But let's see. It looks like it's kind of wanting to do something here. Let's see if it's uh, warm enough to start going. Hopefully you can hear it. You can kind of hear it gaining speed. Sounds like that might be max RPM right there. Pretty neat little device. I actually bought two of these. One's a different design than this. I wanted two because I got them for very inexpensive. I got them for like $35 each. And I wanted two just because uh, <clears throat> in case one didn't work maybe the other one would because they're so inexpensive I have a feeling that they either won't last very long or I just wasn't even sure if they were going to work at all but pretty cool little device uh, really can't it's not very practical for me to just sit here and watch it because I have to have a heat source I actually did try putting ice ice in here uh, but it really didn't work at all that way it's really you know it really needs the hot air now when I first experimented with it. I took it outside. The sun angle was too low to really get direct sunlight on it and it wasn't really warm enough outside anyway. So what I did was I used my heat gun and I had it inverted and I had my heat gun about 18 inches away from it on low setting and I just blew heat on the bottom of the piston here or the bottom surface until I got to about 140 degrees and then I it was turning about this fast then also. Now you'll see that I'll remove the heat source and this thing will keep going for quite some time.
So anyway, a neat little novelty device. Yet another engine, not a nitro engine, but another engine to add to my channel.